when we first started purchasing properties, we leveraged the power of owner-occupied financing. So cash is king, so limited cash out of pocket. So our first duplex was 5% down. Our second duplex was a great program, 3% down. Um, again, limiting the cash out of pocket. And as you're starting to make connections in the real estate world, you're starting to talk to different lenders, different investors, you kind of build, and they talk about it in bigger pockets, that that tool belt. And you start dropping new tools in your tool belt, and those new tools were different financing options. And so in that finally, f- following year, we still had some more owner-occupied financing. So my wife, before we got married, bought a duplex because she could before we got we moved in together. Um, and so that she was able to buy another owner-occupied property, but we did a contract for deed. Uh, We used the Burr method, which a lot of people talk about in the investor world, which it's buy, renovate, refinance, repeat. Um, And so that was a great way to get into a property. So you, you start building, it's, it's your, it's, it's your investor IQ and you start gaining knowledge about financial programs and products and you start leveraging them so you can buy more real estate. Yeah. So what does your rental portfolio look like today? Our rental portfolio looks like So when we made that shift from a hobby to an actual business, we sat down, okay, what does it mean to be, live financially free and lifestyle, life and freedom to have choice over your lifestyle? And so we just said, okay, if we had 22 properties, we'd be financially free. And so at that moment we decided, okay, we're going to buy 22 properties by the time we're 32. And we were 28 at the time. So we had a lot of work to do ahead of ourselves. Um, and so right now we're sitting at 15 properties, not quite the 22, and we have 28 units. Okay. And so even though that was a really big goal at first, 22 by the time we're 32, but now that we're falling a little bit short, it's still much better than where we would have been if we didn't set that goal to begin with. Want to hear more on this topic? Click the link below for the full episode of Maximizing Your Property Value.